Hey guys, welcome to this new video. And in this video, we're going to swap out the wheels and tires because these, to be honest, doesn't look that good. And I already took one off, so... Let's go! And this is the wheel setup we will be using for this project. It's a 15 inch rim with, yeah, as you can see, proper off-road rally tires. And these tires might look familiar, but yeah, what can I say? It's because I took them off this homemade crossbody. And the homemade crossbody will get the ugly wheels for now. But we are not going to use them like this. Yes, this still doesn't look very good. I think it looks way better when the, the rim is painted white. So that is exactly what we are going to do. We are going to paint the rims white with... A red mark over here. Just like all the GT3 race cars have, GT3 class race cars. And it's to indicate where the air valve is. And in my opinion, it doesn't only look good, but it helps as well because you never have to search for the air valve again. Now let's stop talking and start actually doing And since I cleaned the wheel already, we can start masking the wheel and the parts we don't have to paint. So I start masking the tire and actually this is very hard to get this exactly right. But it's very rewarding when you get it right. If you're doing this yourself, try to do it as good as possible because if you paint it and there's white on the tire, it doesn't look very good. So the tire is now masked up, but maybe we get a bit of tape. Oh, <laughs> we have to be careful. Some tape around the side to protect this, but I think this is quite good already. We also have to mask the air valve like this and to mask the air valve you just take a small piece of the tape and just wrap it around it and when you have some bit of tape like there you can just always take a screwdriver and push it to the right point and then you just push these two together to have this point and the valve is completely covered so now we're ready to paint I'm going to move the wheel into the sun and take this little spray paint to it. So then we can start spraying. So there's no way back now. This is going to look very, very cool. All right, this looks quite good already. We have to do three layers of the white paint, but I have to do the side of the rim as well. So this is the outer part of the rim. And therefore I took this piece of paper to protect the tire even better for, uh, because- Well said. This wall, wall of tape doesn't really protect the tire that good for when doing this part of the rim. So that actually looks quite good already. And imagine this wheel on that buggy. The buggy's over there. Just imagine, because I'm not going to show you yet. So this now is dry, and in the meantime, I'm going to clean the other three wheels and mask them so they can, we can start painting the other three wheels. So yeah, let's see how clean we can get this wheel. And just like that, I stole all four wheels. This is an old one that came off the new buggy. But that one's gone as well. I stole them all and all over there. That one is drying. I have to wash these two. And I just applied the third layer of white paint to this one. So we set this one aside, let it completely dry. And let's focus on the other three wheels. So we masked everything where we don't want red paint on it. And we only want red paint on this piece. So we take a red bottle of spray paint. Now we can take it away. Ooh, this is bright. Have to mark that piece of the tire, that piece of the tire as well. Wait a minute. There we go, mark that piece as well. So now we can continue spraying the tire red. Just like that. There you go. All right, the second red layer of paint has been applied for a while ago. 
now already and as you can see it is quite dry already so what we're going to do is remove all the masking tape and paper and let's see how this looks okay let's let's unwrap it I don't know which is the easiest way, but I think we start over here. I think this looks very, very good. Let's remove the yellow tape. Ah, that's a shame. This is actually a bit of a shame, but probably we can just, we can just probably fix that. And there you have it, guys. That looks quite good, does it? So we have our four wheels and I will mount them onto the piggy right now and I'll come back with the result once they're mounted. 12 seconds later. Well guys, the wheels are mounted onto the buggy and yeah, they look absolutely insane. It looks so, so good. Let's, yeah, let's see, take a view. Take a view. guys what do you think of this new look it looks even more racier than it already did to be honest and i mean the white rims match the white bodywork very nicely with that red accent with all the rest the cage and the whole chassis actually is red so it looks actually very very insane very happy with the result if i'm honest really happy with the result so guys, that actually is the end of this video. Let me know what you think of this new wheels and the whole look in general, because I think this fits way better than just those steel black wheels. Like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and I would say see you in the next one. Bye bye.